Here we see the second video uh, explaining how the I.O. I.O. boards uh, work together with the Android phone and how it needs to be connected. All that's between the Android phone and the I.O. I.O. board, which is shown here, the white board with the USB connection on the side. All that needs to be uh, available in there is a, uh, a USB connection and a bit of power which is provided here using 12 volts and just on the top and you can see a, uh, a red light come on to indicate power and you may have briefly seen as well a small yellow light which indicates that a successful connection has been established between the Android phone and the IO IO board. That is a, a good way of debugging to see that your board is actually talking to the Android. I'll unplug it again. The power light goes off. If I put the power back in again, you'll see the red light come on first and then the orange light to indicate that a link has been set up to the Android phone. Red and a brief orange yellow light. At this stage, the Predict for Android is not running. I've not started it up. If I do that, it comes up. Uh, at that stage, nothing more happens on the IO IO board. But as soon as I select the real time tracking and I pick a satellite, in this case the ISS space station, the program now sends data continuously to the IO IO board and the yellow light. Um, is, a, is a clear indication that something is happening. When I stop the program on the Android, the yellow light goes off. And I can close the, the cover here, so you can see it stops at the last position. It doesn't clear the screen once you stop the, the program. I'll see if I can get that a bit closer. If I start up tracking the space station again, instantly the, the LCD goes back updating again wherever the location is and when I stop the program again now it's counting or tracking the ISS I'm stopping the program now and everything has stopped one thing that needs to happen on the Android phone in the settings is for the IO IO board to work, the the application, the, the software needs to be told to enable debugging. And that is a setting inside Android where you go to settings, uh, you find applications, and here at the bottom is development. Android debugging must be ticked in order for the IO IO board to work. So that's one thing that you need to do. The other thing for the predict program is that um, for, for my uh, application I'm sending out uh, signals over I squared C and if you uh, developing your client, your I squared C client, you will need to tell it you need to tell the predict program which uh, which slave address it needs to talk to. That can be set up inside the predict program under settings, compass and tracking, IO IO setup, and at the bottom here you'll have an I squared C ID, which I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's now set to 58, and that is the address, the slave address that you uh, need to need to program in your in your firmware to talk to. You can change this. It, I think it goes up to 127 or 126 addresses. So anywhere in that range, you should be fine. If this match, if this address does not match with whatever client you want to talk to, it's just not going to work. So right now, my LCD display is uh, programmed to listen on 
flavor dress 58 and it matches in here so what actually happens is that when you send your data to the IO, IO board when you go into tracking mode is that the uh, th the software will um, let me do that again it took a while for the yellow light to come on I'm, I'm noticing it but it's not always as quick but here we go we have a, a sync again on the IO IO board you'll have three ports at least that you can uh, get signals out of and one of them is I squared C which is the only one that is now um, connected those are the two wires that you see uh, on the side of the board here these two um, it can also output SPI and uh, RS232 serial um, then the other board on top is a board that I'm working on at the moment and it will have a different flavor dress but I'll, I want to use it to connect here to the side um, the connection to a, a pan tilt or an azimuth elevation rotor so that I can track satellites by, by pointing antennas to them and, uh, and working some amateur radio satellites and that's pretty much all there is to it.